Hello and welcome to NCTV episode 97, which is all about how certain technologies can both help and hinder your health and well-being. There's no denying how much technology has come on in the past few decades and even years, and will continue to do so in the future. This has been particularly great for the advancements of health through the use of fitness apps and wearable devices, for example. As with anything though, there are certain things to be mindful of, such as the effects of prolonged screen time and the impact of this on our health. To start with though, in the fascinating world where technology meets health, we have wearable devices. Smartwatches and fitness trackers have come along leaps and bounds in recent years and this can range from your uh, Apple and Android watches to your Garmin's and Fitbits and these gadgets have become commonplace. Uh, most people have them now or know someone in the family that does. And they don't just tell the time anymore, they can monitor your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels, perform ECGs, track your steps, analyse your sleep patterns, detect a fall and call the emergency services, GPS your location and much more. Using this data can then give you an excellent insight into your overall health and you can set fitness goals, see your daily and weekly progress and stay motivated on your wellness journey. Up next are health apps. These can be found on your phones and devices, as well as most of the aforementioned smartwatches. And these are good potentially for uh, improving your health and well-being and can be used for things like managing your diet, tracking your mental well-being, giving you workouts or training plans and so on. To expand upon the mental health aspect, certain apps can be used as a great tool for relaxation and meditation and mindfulness. A number of them provide guided sessions for the likes of meditations or deep breathing, stress relief exercises and sleep aids. It goes without saying that incorporating these into your routines can contribute to better overall well-being. Just remember to choose reputable apps and be sure to consult with your health professionals for more serious concerns. Another area of advancement has been in telehealth, which has been revolutionary in recent times, especially during COVID, for the likes of myself and other osteopaths and healthcare professionals alike. Whilst it may not be as good as a face-to-face -face appointment in some cases, things like virtual doctor visits, remote consultations and online health platforms have made healthcare more accessible. And this not only saves time, but also allows individuals to seek medical advice from the comfort of their own homes. Now that we've well and truly entered the digital age, we need to be mindful of how all this new technology can impact our physical health and postures. This is where the importance of ergonomics comes in. For more in-depth help on the matter, I cover this in episode 13, explaining how to set up your workstations properly, and also in episode 21 regarding TechNeck. However, some of the key takeaways um, are to take regular breaks from using your computers, phones or devices and perform some gentle stretches. Consider ergonomic furniture too and make sure it's set up correctly for your environment to prevent the likes of eye strain, headaches, and muscle or joints, aches, pains and strains. Also to prevent eye strain, it's worth considering using a blue light filter and moreover the 2020 rule where for every 20 minutes you look at a screen, look at something at least 20 feet away for 20 seconds. A timely remi reminder here that whilst on the topic of posture, is, the, is about the importance of the likes of regular preventative osteopathic checkups, even if you're not in any acute pain as such. And these can help to address any potential imbalances and optimise your muscle and joint health. That's it for this week's bite-sized bit to help your health flourish. Enjoy embracing technology and all that it can do for your health and well-being. But remember, everything in moderation. See you again next time. Bye-bye.